embryology deals with the baby within the mother womb usually baby remains in mother womb for a day, uh, for a 280 days uh, period this 280 days period can uh, be calculated as 40 weeks or in month we can calculate in 9 month and 10 days but traditionally we believe that this is wrong in our embryology description of embryology starts with the uh, description of sperm and the ovum in your book you have uh, seen that there are some chapters before the starting of this part that is the gametogenesis the male gametogenesis this means spermatogenesis and oogenesis but uh, today we are not discussing that thing we uh, today want to focus on this area here is an ovum Uh, and embryology starts with this ovum uh, and the process of fertilization by a sperm there are million of sperm come uh, to uh, fertilize the uh, ovum and finally single uh, sperm uh, win the uh, battle and they it can penetrate the um, covering of the ovum uh, after entering into the uh, uh, oocyte And, uh, it forms a male pronucleus and there is a female pronucleus this male and female pronucleus fuses to form a zygote this zygote finally um, uh, is the first cell of the embryogenesis this uh, zygote that means the fusion of the sperm and the ovum has the 46 chromosomes um the uh, gamete has uh, um, haploid number of chromosomes but this zygote uh, uh, again uh, forms the diploid number of uh, chromosomes that means 46 uh, chromosomes here this chromosome uh, containing uh, this uh, 46 chromosome containing uh, gamete then uh, start to divide this division is known as mitosis and here it is called the cleavage after uh, the cleavaging uh, one cell divides into two cell two cell into four cell four cell into eight cell this is the sequence of uh, division when this um, uh, this um, division uh, occurring into the uh, gamete they uh, form the blastocyst uh, before uh, the uh, blasto formation of blastocyst they form the blastocyst before the formation of blastocyst they uh, pass many stages then two cell stage four cell stage eight cell stage after 16 cell stage this is known as the morula this morula has uh, entered into a phase of reaction uh, that uh, uh, form a phase of reactions uh, where the two cells uh, where the two stages of uh, cell where the two forms of cell that is an outer outer cell Uh, mass and the inner cell mass uh, when there is a morula uh, like this when there is a morula here some cells of the inner side they are um, compacting with each other this is not the compaction and the uh, cells that are outside they are loosely oriented this orientation of the cells in the uh, morula uh, forms uh, two layer uh, in the outer layer that is the outer cell mass and the inner layer there is a inner cell mass the outer cell mass uh, is loosely organized and uh, then the there are there are some uh, collection of fluid within the outer cell mass this uh, collection of fluid forms a seal that means blastocyst the blastocyst containing embryo now known as the blastocyst here there is a cavity And that is lined by the outer cell mass and there is a compact uh, there is a compactly organized cell that is the inner cell mass for the description purpose this uh, inner cell mass is known as the embryoblast and the outer cell mass is known as the trophoblast trophom means nutrition uh, it will uh, fuse in future it will form the embryo and it will this uh, this uh, cells out, outside the embryo that will give the nutrition to this embryo so this is the embryoblast and this is the um, uh, this is the trophoblast this is uh, the development of the first week 
this is the development of first week in the uh, second week in the day eight we can we can we have to differentiate this thing into a more uh, these things are happen in the first week of development in the second week we can see that uh, we have the two uh, layer of the cells that is the outer cell and an inner cell now in the second week of development all things form into the two that means we had the outer cell mass this outer cell mass um, convert into two cell uh, group that is the outer is the syncytotropoblast or syncytotropoblast and inner there is the cytotropoblast here we can see that the here the uh, two layer of uh, outer uh, outer uh, trophoblastic cell form the syncytotropoblast and cytotrophoblast and the inner cell mass form the uh, uh, above the epiblast and below the hypoblast in the cells of the epiblast there is a uh, there is a uh, there is a cavity this cavity is known as the amniotic cavity this is the uh, day 8 in the day 8 we can see these structures in the day Nine, we can see that the uh, outer cell mass that was the uh, syncytotropoblast and the cytotrophoblast. In the syncytotropoblast, there are some lacuni. There are some spaces in this syncytotropoblast that is known as lacuni. And uh, here is a layer of the cytotrophoblast. In the uh, in the embryoblast in the day uh, day nine, in the embryoblast there is there was an amniotic cavity and the epiblast and there was the hypoblast in the uh, in the um, cell of the uh, embryonic uh, embryoblast the hypo hypoblastic cell uh, secrete some substances that form a layer and a cavity lined by this layer this cavity is known as the primitive yolk sac by exosilomic cavity this uh, primitive yolk sac is lined by the epi uh, hypoblastic cell and a layer uh, that is known as the exosilomic membrane that is secreted by the hypoblastic cell and uh, the thing is interesting that uh, here is the embryoblast here is the syncytotropoblast and cytotropoblast and syncytotropoblast and the cytotropoblast are more prominent in this side and less prominent in that side and uh, in fact the syncytotropoblast is absent in this part of the uterus so in uh, it uh, this occur in the day 9 in the day uh, 10 day 11 uh, in the second week of development uh, we can see that the syncytotropoblast um, has some has some lacuna and this lacuna are uh, this lacuna are interconnected with each other and this lacuna also connects with this uh, these uh, red drops are the sinusoids uh, of the maternal uterus and this uh, the, the the lacuna is also connected with the uh, with this sinusoids that is the um, that is the uh, uh, connection of the maternal and the fetal parts and we can see that uh, there are some uh, uh, finger like projections in the cytotrophoblast and uh, the um, uh, amniotic cavity is here and apiblast is here and the hypoblast is there but there is an interesting thing that there is a new layer in here we can see that uh, in the day 9 and day 10 there was the uh, there was the there is the uh, syncytotropoblast, cytotropoblast, and here is the um, here is the primitive yolk sac lined by the exosilomic membrane that is secreted by hypoblast. But in this uh, day eleven and day twelve, there is a layer. There is a layer that is not present here. In here, we can see that there is syncytotropoblast, cytotropoblast, but there is a pinkish uh, membrane, pinkish area new only formed area in here and this is known as the this is known as the extra embryonic mesoderm this is known as extra embryonic mesoderm in this uh, in this extra embryonic mesoderm there is some cavity this cavity is known as extra embryonic cavity 
and the, uh, there is two lining in this uh, lining that is very close to the primitive yolk sac this is known the splanchnic layer of the extra embryonic mesoderm and the uh, layer that is very close to the cytotrophoblast that is known as the that is known as the um, uh, uh, somatic layer of the extra embryonic mesoderm <coughs> in the uh, day 13 day 13 day 14 in the um, end of the second week we can see that uh, uh, there are so many changes in this uh, area there was uh, in the uh, day 10 and 11 the 10 and 11 uh, 12 there was the villi and there was villi that was um, uh, now this villi is uh, more prominent and it is lined by the lined by the um, syncytiotropoblast this syncytiotropoblast lined uh, finger like projections are known as the primary villi this is the change in the cyto and syncytiotropoblast and there is more lacuna and the more connection with the uh, with the maternal sinusoids in the syncytiotropoblast and cytotropoblast there is the primary villi and in in the in the area of the um, primary yolk sac in this area of the primary yolk sac that is replaced by secondary yolk sac and there is a cavity new cavity in the pinkish area that means we have that means we have the area in here in here we have the area we can now we can see that in the day 11 and 12 we had the extra embryonic mesoderm here now there there, there is extra embryonic cavity in here uh, now this extra embryonic cavity enlarges and uh, the extra embryonic cavity enlarges and here is the primary yolk sac this primary yolk sac is pulled down here and this is the this is the extra embryonic cavity we know it a chorionic cavity how it does form in the day uh, in the uh, last day of the second week now we can see that there is the epiblast with the amniotic uh, cavity here is the hypoblast this hypoblast secretes some cell yellow cell, yellow cell, yellow cells and yellow structure that is the uh, primary yolk sac uh, in the outside the primary yolk sac there is the uh, uh, there is a chorionic cavity or extracellular cavity uh, extra embryonic cavity extra embryonic cavity here and this extremely cavity extend upward we have to uh, we can compare this with this thing uh, here is the primary yolk sac here is the primary yolk sac and here is the extra extra embryonic uh, cavity extra embryonic cavity there is chorionic cavity this chorionic cavity uh, fuses and forms a large chorionic cavity large chorionic cavity and this chorionic cavity push this area push this chorionic cavity this is the chorionic cavity this chorionic cavity enlarges uh, in this direction and they also push this area this area here this area this area and uh, forming the two part here is a superior part and there is inferior part and this uh, ultimately this ultimately forms there is a, a superior cavity and there is inferior cavity this superior cavity is lined by uh, some cells secreted by the hypoplast again this cavity now known as the secondary yolk sac and here is the primary yolk sac the um, chorionic cavity uh, push the primary yolk sac downward and forming this structure uh, forming this type of a structure here uh, it separates from the secondary yolk sac in the, here is the primary yolk sac here is the chorionic cavity all things filled with the chorionic cavity and the and the embryoblast that is the epiblast and the hypoblast they remain in here uh, like um, previous uh, size and we can see that uh, here is the final uh, figure here is the uh, chorionic cavity that means extra embryonic cavity here is the secondary yolk sac and here primary yolk sac is pushed downward and here there is a connective stock and all the things in the end of the second week we can see here all things in the end of the second week here is the syncytotropoblast here is the cytotropoblast forming the primary villus and there is a connective stock there is the uh, there is amniotic cavity there is the epiblast there is hypoblast there is the secondary yolk sac 
and there is a chorionic cavity. And in the third week of development, we can see that this thing in the end of the second week, in the third week of the development, we can magnify this thing connecting, there is a connecting stock and the epiblast and hypoblast. Here is the epiblast, here is the hypoblast. But there is an streak in the epiblast, uh, this is the caudal end, this is the cranial end. And this is a streak in the um, epiblast known as the primitive streak. This primitive streak in here in the um, fr uh, frontal view, uh, we can see that uh, there is the primitive streak and cells from the epiblast migrate downward from uh, with this primitive streak. In the cross section, you can see here is the epiblast, here is the uh, epiblast, here is the hypoblast. And the cells migrate through this uh, pit, uh, the streak, through this streak uh, downward and forming multiple layers. <coughs> this layer is known as the three layer, uh, three layers of the embryo, that is the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. In the third week of development, these things are formed. The embryo blast form the three layers, epiblast, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the um, ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm, and the outside, the syncytotropoblast uh, uh, and the cytotropoblast form uh, the uh, tertiary villi. Here, there is the maternal part, lacuna. Here is the uh, uh, here is the uh, fetal part. Here is the extra embryonic mesoderm uh, runs in between the this lacuna, forming the tertiary villus. Here is a villus lined by the um, lined by the cytotrophoblast. In between there are some syncytotrophoblast and the maternal circulation in between this. This is from the tertiary villus. Uh, and uh, here is the chorionic cavity. And here is the uh, definitive yolk sac, the secondary yolk sac. Here is the amniotic cavity in above. This forms in the third week.